started by serenading their neighbors door to door. And now, 20 years later, Los Paranderos are still playing traditional Venezuelan Christmas carols together. Joining me now are Elizabeth Baena and Ivan Contramaeste. Their group plays holiday tunes with a distinctly Venezuelan flavor. They combine Europeans, African, indigenous influences, and they're playing all over Vancouver this holiday season, including here at the Christmas market on December 23rd. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. How did all this start, first of all, that the Venezuelans get together and decide to sing? Well, a long time ago, a uh, group of Venezuelans decided to revive the tradition of uh, going door to door singing Christmas carols, Venezuelan Christmas carols. And so they did. They got together, they went in the neighborhood, and they thought it was a good idea, so they kept on doing it year after year. So, um, what is a Venezuelan Christmas carol? Is it centered around the nativity, the holidays specifically, or what would you say about it? Well, mostly it has religious, religious themes, um, but over the time it evolved to have all kinds of uh, themes um, political protest, humor, love in, during Christmas time, so all kinds of uh, different themes. But obviously, the uh, really religious ones are the main ones. Okay, so what kind of uh, connection do you have with, it, with this group? That they're all from Venezuela, first of all, is that a prerequisite? That's <laughs> not necessarily a, a prerequisite, but yeah, most of the members are from Venezuela. We have two members are from, one from Colombia, one from Chile. But most of them are from uh, Venezuela. They come from the community, the local community, and they uh, hear about us. They want to revive their own inner Christmas spirit. Uh, and so they join, and some stay and go, and some stay for a long time. So, I mean, when you're singing here, there's something about bringing a little bit about that Venezuelan flavor back to Vancouver. Why is that so important to you? Well, it's important to preserve your own culture, no matter where you go. Uh, and so that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying not only to preserve for ourselves, but also to spread the joy to other people in, in Metro Vancouver. Uh, and we've been doing that for like a few years now. Okay, so what kind of reaction are you getting here at the Christmas party? It's kind of interesting. The Venezuelan music at the German Christmas market, it all kind of works together. It feels very Vancouver, ultimately. <laughs> well, sure, it speaks for the uh, diversity culturally from, uh, of the city. But um, we get a great reception here. Um, the public, uh, sometimes I feel at the beginning, they're not quite sure how this is a caroling kind of group. But then they see the getting to it and start enjoying the rhythms, uh, the different rhythms. Okay, what other kind of things do you look forward to during the year? Not necessarily just around the Christmas season with your group. Uh, well, obviously, you know, each other's company, right? Yeah. We get together for rehearsals. We get along, that's We get good. along, and, uh, yes, and we enjoy a lot of our traditions. So, uh, I think sometimes we look forward to spreading the joy to senior homes, and uh, some of the uh, seniors, they don't have a lot of visitors. And so, us uh, being there, um, they really, really seem to enjoy it. They really seem to appreciate that we're there, giving them a little bit of Christmas, even if it's not exactly our own. Well, it's awesome that you're here. It's Thank awesome you. you're able to bring some of that infectious music. I mean, it's hard to stand still, frankly, when you're listening to me. So, adelante, another song for us, please. Thank you. Nice Thank to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Gift of music here is 